Jessica with Guns and Lace here at From the Bench. We are going to show you today how to take down your AR-15 and clean the bolt carrier group. It's very important to make sure that you are regularly cleaning and maintaining your AR-15 for optimal performance. So first we're going to go ahead and remove the magazine. You can see it's unloaded. And then we're going to clear it. And it's always good to try and uh, check it a second time. Next, uh, you would go ahead and push on the front um, takedown pin and the back takedown pin. With my nails, I actually need to use a little tool for that, but some people can actually just use their finger. So you'll push those forward, pull them all the way out, okay? And then you are able to break again this way. Okay. To remove the bolt, you're going to pull the charging handle out and it'll come right out. And then go ahead and put the charging handle back and seat it. To begin the disassembly, you're going to go ahead and remove the split pin here. I use a small tool to hook the eye of the pin and get it out. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the firing pin. Sometimes you'll need to give it a nice thunk on the table or it'll just fall out for you. Next, we need to go ahead and remove the cam pin. So you're going to push the bolt in. That will move the cam pin back where you can then turn it. And I use a tool just because of my nails to be able to pull the pin out. Next, you're just going to go ahead and pull that bolt out. So we're going to use the uh, brass brush to go ahead and clean the bolt. Uh, you want to use brass because it is softer and it's not going to hurt anything. You want to be very careful of the gas rings though. Um, they are pretty gentle and will break and the brush can hook that. So uh, a lot of carbon buildup here. If it hasn't been cleaned much, it's very possible that you'll end up with some buildup. So uh, just make sure you're cleaning it often. And just move down the bolt. The brush is really nice for these in between the lugs as well. So go ahead and just clean that a little. And then for the ejector, you'll get some uh, buildup in there as well. Uh, next we're going to do the carrier and this really you're just going to use q-tips, um, lint-free cloth, anything like that to go ahead and clean it. Some people use uh, old t-shirt, that sort of thing. You just want to make sure to give it a good, good wipe down. You know, so we're getting some stuff off of there. So again, just keep wiping on there until it, you feel like it's clean and that cloth is coming back clean. Um, you can use a brass brush or again that toothbrush on any 90 degree angles if you're not getting in, in deep enough with the cloth. Okay. And uh, it's really important to go ahead and get the inside of this as well. So I just take this and twist it. and make it go right in here it's actually not too bad and then on the other side as well okay um, you do want to go ahead and get into the gas tube here as well with a q-tip if you rotate the q-tip it'll go in a lot easier and clean that surface for you. You can also use a q-tip to clean down inside here as well where the firing pin goes. And then down in where the cam pin goes as well.
Then we're going to move on to the parts. These pretty much are just going to get a good wipe down. Um, if they are really, really dirty, you can uh, remove them first and put them into a cup with hops to clean off the grime. Now we're going to get this baby lubed up. You're going to want to go ahead and put a small amount on the ejector, the pin, and then the raised portion on the bolt here. And you can just spread that around with your finger. Next, you're gonna go ahead and put them on, put uh, lube on the gas rings. It's a good um, idea to inspect those gas rings as well. Make sure that they're in good condition and aren't bent. And you can uh, go ahead and move the brakes in those pins or in the rings so that they're not lined up. And then the end here, Next, we're going to put a little drop in where the cam pin goes, and then along the top rail and the bottom rail. And you can just spread that along with your finger. And then your parts. So you'll go ahead and put a thin film on the firing pin here and then a drop on the cam pin right there. You can run the AR-15 fairly wet but if you are in a sandy environment it is a good idea to look at the um, pamphlet for your gun or the manual for your gun so that you're not putting too much lube on that and collecting dirt and grime. And then we're going to go ahead and reassemble. So you want to make sure that you've got everything lined up properly. And the hole here is going to line up so that your cam pin can go in here. And you may need to pull it out just a little bit so that the cam pin can line up. And you're going to put the cam pin in so that this is parallel. And then you'll turn it once you get it seated in there. So we've got that in there, right? Um, then you want to go ahead and put your firing pin back in place. And I like, some people will drop it all the way in from the top. I like to go in from the side here. And then we need to go ahead and put the split pin back in. So you'll notice that it is split. You're going to need to put some pressure on that to close it so that it will go through the hole here. Okay, and then I push it all the way forward until I get some resistance, pull back just a little bit, and then because that pin is split, if you put some downward pressure, it will close the pin so you're not splitting it even further when you push it in, and you'll have a nice seat there. Pull the bolt so that it's extended. Then we're going to go ahead and put the bolt carrier group back in. So you're going to take the charging handle and pull it about halfway out. Put the bolt in. And take the charging handle and seat it. And then the bolt will go straight in. Next we're going to do the reassembly with this front takedown pin. and the rear takedown pin. And then just make sure everything works. And I didn't even break a nail. From the Bench, this is Jessica at Guns and Lace. For more videos and From the Bench series, follow us on YouTube. Click subscribe or like below. For more information, visit us at GunsandLace.com.